Terraria Warm Paint 4 introduced a handful of more subtle weapons to the game, with things like the Trimarang, High Five and Super Star Shooter more filling in the gaps between points in progression rather than being completely game changing. And today's picks are no different, with our attention being turned to two very early hard mode desert themed weapons that I think a majority of players will easily miss. Of course I'm talking about the Thunder Zapper Staff and Storm Spear Spear. Now, aside from these both offering quite unique visuals for weapons of their class, with no progression blocking their obtainability, perhaps they could actually be solid early game options for you in your next playthrough. Before we delve into this though, if you enjoy these weapon reviews, why not let YouTube know as it truly helps out. Right then, let's see how you get your hands on them. With the Spear and Zapper both being found in the same place, regardless of what you're after, you're immediately going to want to head to your desert. Now, before I do say the death-defying words of we need to dig into the hellscape that is the underground desert, depending on your situation, you can instead fish for oasis crates on the surface and have a chance of getting them that way. But if I am completely honest here, for the stage these weapons excel in, you're going to save so much more time by just biting the bullet and getting yourself down there. Now, I know this is daunting, as the underground desert is a biome you usually want to miss in the early game, but don't worry, because with us only being on the lookout for sandstone chests, you can be surprisingly pacifist about it, with the beauty that is dynamite and scarab bombs doing most of the heavy lifting for you. You see, as long as you don't do what I did here, you can actually avoid most hostile encounters on your way down there. And speaking of down there, with the way sandstone chest loot works, you're actually going to want to make sure you're in the bottom section of the biome, as this is where our weapons in question will start to appear. And with approximately a 2 in 3 chance of getting what we're after in these chests, well, if I understand this part right, it shouldn't be too long at all until you've got either your Storm Spear or Thunder Zapper in hand. Okay then, let's see what these rewards for your risky venture can do. Starting off with the Thunder Zapper, the best of the two in my opinion, we're actually off to a really nice start, with its frequent high velocity projectiles dealing a comfortable 100 DPS against this single target, which also comes with a limited but adequate amount of range at its disposal. And compared to alternatives you could obtain at this point, like a mid-tier Emerald Staff, it's just completely left behind, with the Thunder Zapper operating more like a post skeletron weapon rather than a pre-boss one. Even things like the Valthorn, which can also be a pain to obtain early, doesn't give the same damage and versatility the Thunder Zapper does. The only thing to keep in mind is, is the distinct lack of piercing, meaning against groups, uh, I guess a higher tier staff could be superior. But I don't know, just for the projectile speed alone, I'd personally go with the Zapper over any gem staff. And now moving on to its melee brother, the Storm Spear, this one doesn't quite blow me away as much, as with despite its single target damage looking pretty solid, I found the Rotten Fork Spear to already pretty much match it in this scenario. Unfortunately, with the way the fork got reworked in 1.4.4, I found its damaging area to be better than the Storm Spear, making it slightly more effective against large groups. But I mean, maybe I'm a little harsh here, because for those of you on Corruption Worlds, the Storm Spear is still one of the earliest obtainable weapons to deal over 100 DPS, with even things like the Thorn Chakram at close range not packing as much of a punch. As always though, it depends on what you're fighting, so with this in mind, let's see how they do against the real thing. And off the bat, going back to the Thunder Zapper, while it did deal with his group nicely, being absent of that one piercing is no joke, with the regular old staff making up for its lower damage very easily. And when it comes to the Storm Spear, again, I have to say that its performance basically mirrors that of the Rodham Fog. But I guess if you want to utilise its slightly better range thanks to its projectile, it is always there. Right, I think it's about time we really saw just how much these things can assist you in the early game. And as you can see, there really aren't many better weapons available than the Thunder Zapper for the Eye of Cthulhu fight, with it being, if I'm honest, complete overkill for this poor thing. And even the Storm Spear, while not quite as good, will offer you more than enough offense for this fight. And kicking it up a notch against the Eater of Worlds, the tables sort of turn, with the Storm Spear now being one of the best choices for this boss at this time. Like even on Master Mode, this is plenty of damage to be splitting these segments like crazy with. Just make sure you can tank it though. And if you thought this was it, I'd actually say that boss-wise, the Thunder Zapper can keep going, with it still being one of, if not the best mage weapon to defeat Skeletron with. And yep, the Storm Spear is still too dealing enough damage for this fight, but might be a little riskier. So if I were you, I'd take the Spear to be your crowd control weapon in the dungeon, and stick to the Zapper for those tanky single targets. 
And you know, this might be around the time where you do want to retire these things, as although they're good, they aren't exactly going to be getting you a wall of flesh kill. But you know, for a pre-boss weapon that only takes a little patience and risk, I'd say they're 100% worth going out of your way to obtain. I suppose it really depends on just how much you hate the underground desert. This has been Socrates, and I'll see you in the next one.